Ah, Thanksgiving dinner. The feast of familial fellowship and ferocious flatulence resistance. I mean, the food is fabulous, but the gas game. That's where the real challenge begins. So there I am, mid-meal, minding my mashed potatoes when the gaseous gremlin strikes. It's subtle at first, like a simmering soup. Then suddenly, bam! My stomach starts gurgling like a garbage disposal grinding a gobstopper. <laughs> now I can't just let it fly. Aunt Gertrude is two feet away, spearing sweet potatoes with the precision of a sushi chef. And my cousin Clyde is telling a tearful tale about rescuing raccoons. What am I going to do? Drop a thunderclap in the middle of that. <laughs> so I try to clench, folks. I'm clenching so hard my cheeks could crack walnuts. I shift in my seat, but the chair creaks suspiciously. Now I'm panicked. Was that the chair, or did the gremlin make a getaway? I look around. No one's flinched. False alarm. Crisis averted. <laughs> but then disaster. Cousin Clyde passes. The peas. The peas. They're legumes, folks. Legumes. The gremlin sees this as a green light and starts growling like a bear trapped in a bubble wrap factory. I'm sweating Uncle Frank's talking politics, and all I can think is, if I cough now, maybe I can camouflage the catastrophe. <laughs> Finally, I excuse myself, saying I need more gravy, and waddle walk to the kitchen, cheeks clenched tighter than a toddler's grip on a toy. I let it go in glorious private relief, only to turn around and see the dog sniffing at me like I've just smuggled a skunk into the stuffing. <laughs> So lesson learned, Thanksgiving isn't just a test of gratitude, it's a battle of bodily boundaries. And if you hear the chair creak, blame the dog, smile sweetly, and pass the pumpkin pie. <laughs>